And now St. Louis Hustle Podcast question of the day. But really quickly, uh, I know that we have a question of the day coming up for the people. Uh, and uh, before we ask the question, tell us a little bit about what happened that made you start thinking about this question. Okay, so you know, I was out and about perusing this weekend, so hanging out with a buddy of mine. And so um, a buddy of mine, um, he owns two establishments. He owns a food establishment and he owns a, um, a cocktail lounge. And so um, my buddy in his former life used to be a, um, a mm, how do I put it? He used to be a street pharmacist. He used to be a, um, man, he used to be a street hustler. Let me okay. put it like that. Okay. He used to be in the street. And so, um, as we were, you know, hanging out at his um, his lounge, we were um, uh, me and a girlfriend of mine were just, you know, watching the business, and he was having a great night, and business was, you know, flourishing, and we were just watching business happen, and you know, uh, my my uh, girlfriend used the term, uh, my friend, I hate to use the term girlfriend, she's my friend, friend said a little man. Okay, so my okay. friend used the term. Um, she was watching the way business was being conducted. And she said, it don't look like he really converted his hustle because he was <laughs> the same way he ran his street business. Gotcha. It was legitimate, gotcha. but she noticed certain nuances in the way that he ran this legitimate business. There were certain street nuances mm -hmm. that were mm -hmm. existing. And so it just, it made me really think about the phrase converting the hustle. Gotcha. Gotcha. So that's what kind of led me to bring up, you know, the, the question of the day, which is question of the day. Can yeah. a street hustler, a D boy, um, uh, convert that hustle or legitimize that hustle and 100% and do nothing but that and not have his hands and anything else. Because I, I think about some of these guys who were supposedly big time, like the uh, Jay-Z's of the world, the Rick Rosses, and I'm like, okay, that music money is good, but are they in some way, shape, or form still connected to the streets and doing yeah. some, some stuff that they ain't got no business doing? Um, so I don't know. So uh, we're gonna dive back into your answers on that. So let us know in the comments if yeah, you believe that a street hustler can convert the hustle 100 percent and walk away from the streets. Real, real quick, uh, real, real quick, Cortez. Also, with that, can you when you convert the hustle? Is it when you convert? Can you run your business the same way you ran your dope game business? Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Do you run your business with the same strategy that you ran your dope game? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So you could be legitimate, but if you still use the same street rules and legitimate business, how, you know what I'm saying? How does that work out and for how does that work? you? You know what I'm saying? Does that work and is it possible? Let's, let's leave that right there. Let, but we want your comments. Let's, let's, let's talk about it. Is it possible? Because I don't know how well that transcended. I really believe that my friend that has these two businesses, I believe he's legitimate, but I believe he's using the same strategy. He's using a dope uh -huh. strategy to run a legitimate business. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> how, would that, how, how would that play out long term? Uh, so leave us your comments on this one, man. I'm, I'm interested to know uh, your comments. You can tweet at the show at STL underscore hustle. Uh, I'm going to pull up the St. Louis Credit Repair Institute Twitter feed here in a second so that I can see your actual comments and your tweets. Uh, but yeah, make sure you let us know your thoughts on that one right there. You know what? Um... It's possible. I think it's, it's it takes uh, an amazing amount of discipline um, if a person does that. So um, the key word is discipline, you know, uh, discipline, because um, you have to really be able to set yourself apart from your old ways. Um, it's almost like, I think, a rehabilitation. If you do that, 
you have to really, really, really be able to separate yourself from who you used to be. Really be able to, I'm going to just go ahead and cut my volume off from a, uh, from a monitor so I'm not distracted because, you know, I get I get distracted by shiny things, my bad. So, um, but you have to really be able to separate yourself from um, who you used to be, the discipline of the old from the new or, you know, the old to the new. Um, if you can't do that, I'll be honest with you. I don't think that transformation is possible. Um, because you're always going to confuse the two. Um, and when you do that, I just think it's a recipe for disaster. Yeah. Um, said it. I'm not saying it ain't possible. Mm -hmm. I just think that you're always going to invite unwelcome circumstances. I think you're always going to take calculated risks that are unnecessary um, or uncalculated risks that are unnecessary. Um, just not necessary. So I say no. Gotcha. Well, I'm a uh, uh, vehemently disagree. Uh, is that a word? Did I use it right? Uh, you know what? Yes. The judge <laughs> say yes, sir. Yes. That is. Whoop, look at you and, in the, the song this and, morning. And, and the reason is uh, is because I was that former guy um, in a in a life two or three lives ago. Um, I was a street corner, uh, street corner pharmacist. Um, I, I was the guy uh, bringing hurt and harm to our communities uh, and standing on the block and blistering cold. And uh, really, um, you know, out of ignorance, because this is what happens when you're a hustler. And see, and I like to distinguish the hustler between the, uh, from the dope dealer. The hustler can sell anything. The dope dealer can only sell drugs. And really, drugs sell themselves. Right. Uh, yeah. But when my my crew and I were young, we were, you know, cutting grass, cleaning garages. We were doing what we pumping gas, whatever we could do to make change to go play video games. That's what we were doing. But because we didn't have those legitimate business figures in our community to say, hey, you guys are on to something. You got drive. You got ambition. You're willing to work. So let me help you shape you and mold you into a business owner we didn't have a young biz kids to turn to uh right back then but who we did have to turn to was those other uh not so positive entrepreneurs and yeah. they did what we call perverted the hustle and they saw the hustle and the grind in us and they said hey we could use that young crew uh and they uh basically encouraged us groomed us to get on the streets and, and, and do that thing. But now today, uh, I am 20 plus years removed for that, from that and never had a, an inkling to even look back. Um, and, and what I try not to do is judge those okay. people in those circumstances because for me, even though we were on welfare, Michelle, we didn't have lights for weeks at a time, I didn't need to sell no dope. I just did because I was seeking validation from community. I was seeking validation from my peers and all that kind of stuff. And I should have found that had I had the right mentors. And I did have an uncle who had a candy truck. If you guys know anything about the Cabinet Courts, then y'all know Uncle Mac had it popping over there on the candy truck. And I was right there selling y'all the candy through the little window, right? I mean, I was a doughboy. So... Uh, yes, it is possible, but to your point, you do have to completely remove yourself from those situations. You have to find something else to live for. I yeah. found validation in raising my family, and yeah. I didn't have to do it through the streets. So uh, that's how it happened, and I know quite a few who have made that 180-degree turn completely, and they've stayed away uh, but yeah, it, it's it's one of those things where it, it could be a toss up, man. I remember Monique did her uh, series mm -hmm. on uh, being one decision away from 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 being in jail. It could have been me, or I, I forget the name of it. But any of us could be in a situation where we have to strongly consider yeah. stuff like that. That's the same thing go for horn. Same thing go for drug dealing. Yeah. Uh, stripping any anything, you know what I'm saying? Because you know I could have been on that pop. No, <laughs> I'd have been a broke stripper. But but <laughs> off your side, there's no judgment. Whether you selling drugs, 
the hoeing, stripping, whatever your thing is. There is no judgment. Um, it's a free forum to kind of discuss some of those things, um, which I think in the weeks to come, those will be some interesting topics um, yes. to kind of dive back into. Um, never ever is there judgment because you're right. It could have been me, man. We both have testimonies, uh, Cortez. We both yes. have stories, yes. um, as many of you guys do, you know. But never, never any judgment. My homeboy that 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 um, we talked, and he was like, man, you know, see, I don't mind you telling my story. You know, because I'm real about mine. He was right. a great, a great dude. You yeah. know, and he was yeah. real about it for me to come and, and share this. You know, but I, I'm, I'm real about what I do. I went to a person like, bro, can I share your story? He's like, yes, yeah. I'll do it. You awesome. know, uh, he's awesome. a thorough dude. So um, that's what we want to do is we want to bring topics and discuss and, and chop it up with you guys. So there it is. You know? Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we.